With just two months until the midterm elections, the Latino voting rights group Mi Familia Vota is kicking up its outreach. That's after polls say politicians and party organizations may be neglecting this demographic. Reporter Lillian Donahue in our Washington, D.C. bureau tells us more about the problem and how advocates hope to address it. Recent poll data by the National Association of Latino Elected and Appointed Officials shows that almost 60 percent of all Latino registered voters have not been contacted by a political party or campaign. Now organizations are doing their outreach on their own. We know that we cannot count on the candidates and the campaigns and the politicians to get out the Latino vote. Mi Familia Vota released a campaign today named Usa Tu Poder, or Use Your Power. It will rely heavily on social media, text messages, and other digital tools to energize a younger generation of Latino voters. This year, they hope it can turn around consistently poor Latino turnout during midterm years, which in turn leads to those voters being overlooked by campaigns. They normally like to target those high propensity voters because that's what they know they're going to vote for sure. And low propensity voters, which happen to tend to be Latinos, they don't do that. Cesar Martinez, who worked with several political campaigns, including the late Senator John McCain's, says it's up to the voters to show up and spark interest for their community. The one that votes is the one that holds the power. So at the end of the day, if you don't participate, you cannot expect things to change. The key to change, they say, are millennials, who make up the largest Latino age group and who are adding nearly 800,000 eligible voters each year, according to the Pew Research Center. And the youth have in their hands the future of our community and the future of democracy. In Washington, Lillian Donahue, Cronkite News.